Hello guys, what's up? <coughs> well, hello guys, what's up? My name is Ilman, and today I'm going to teach you guys a quick tip on how to import a background to Cinema 4D. And this tutorial is requested by Maximiliano Fernandez and the Gal Test HD. The Gal Test HD said, "How?" <laughs> they both said, "Where did you get the JPEG sequence from?" And the one you use for background texture. If you watch my how to import the CS63 tracker points to Cinema 4D. You can see how I import uh, the background tracks texture to Cinema 4D and it moves also. So yeah, so open up After Effects. You need After Effects in this video, in this tutorial. So drag in your footage, footage, and drag it to new comp. Once you've done that, you know find the best, find the wow, find the best, find the best, you know frame that you want. I actually it's M8, but uh, yeah. I have four frame of this sequence. I don't know what I'm talking about. And uh, go to composing, composition, add to render queue, and go to last list. And from format here, from AVI to JPEG sequence. And for the format option, you can just change your quality of your sequence. I'm just gonna stay at medium because it's the larger, the the, the better your quality is, the better your, the 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 bigger your file is. I'm just gonna stay in medium five. Click OK, and gonna change the output. This is the fail tutorial. Uh, let's make this tips two. And gonna save that. And once you've done that, hit render. Make sure your preview here on f full, or else your sequence is gonna be ugly. Duck. Wait till it render. My finger pushing something. Wow. And then you're gonna open up your Cinema 4D, and uh, you're gonna change your setting first. If you if your resolution on 800 and 600, you're gonna change to what your sequence size are. Mine is 720p. Gonna change that. And uh, once you've done that, if you see the floor tab here, hold hold click and drag it to background and your background will be you know visible like, not really and now double click on the material or you can just create new material I'm just gonna double click double click on the first material and uncheck specular make sure you uncheck that and go to color go to color tab and you see the texture here click down the arrow keys and hit load image and uh go to Find your sequence. You're gonna find the tips too. Hit. Uh, make sure you click the first frame of your sequence. Don't hit here or somewhere. Hit the first frame, which is the zero, your footage name, and then zero zero. Hit the hit the only one. Open and if this window popped out, uh, don't click yes. Or else your sequence will not be animated. So hit no, and hit the hit this long tab the tab where you he sh where this thing shows your directory of your sequence hit that go to animation tab and hit calculate if you hit you calculate your sequence has been calculated to your you know end of the sequence I guess so close that drag your material to background and uh there there you go voila and if you scrub over here you see your uh timelines animated and um there's a problem if you guys only have 90 frames. If you see the sequence here, it says, wait, uh, it says uh, 121 frames. So all you gotta do is change here and roll it 121 frames and just drag this all the way to the right. And you got your footage on your Cinema 4D. <laughs> And I'm just gonna add some plane, add some box to it. Smaller box, be nice. Oh, there you go. And uh, if you want to invisible, if you want to invisible, if you want to remove the plane, to remove, uh, if you want to create shadow, you need a floor. So, but. You can't just render out the floor also. So you need to drag in your material, your sequence material to your plane and 
the projection here from UVW mapping change to frontal and right click on your plane go to similar 40 tags go to compositing uncheck self shadowing and check compositing background once you render out boom your plane is invisible the good thing is once you add a light I'm gonna add a light there just a light oh wow add a light and uh, render it out nothing happened because you didn't add any shadow gonna add some shadow maps and gonna change it to 40% because shadow is not so bright and then go to render settings and go to effect tab and I'm gonna add ambient occlusion and global animation the intelizing are the good best settings ever and, and you see render out boom you got a shadow here and this there's a little shadow back there but you can't see it so yeah I think that's it oh yeah if you want to render out the background also go to render settings and go to output and the frame range current frames change to all frames and it will render from zero frame to 101 frames but it's gonna take long because you animate your footage yeah I think that's it yeah <laughs> so guys thanks for watching I'm sorry if I have a broken English I'm not really good at English because I'm Asian what up so, so yeah thanks for watching and my name is Hillman and if you guys want more tutorial of this if you guys need help just comment down below and I'll be appreciate sure make a tutorial as soon as possible so yeah thanks for watching my name is Hillman and I'll see you guys next time bye bye